Okay. Now you can read this uh, sentence. Hey. Ah, potato don wa tsubasa o mota mota hachio rui yoku yoku dragon yoku yoku ryu yoku ryu no nakamade ah haku aki haku aki to toy 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 jidai na jidai no ichi um ikimono de aru hai ikimono de aru nice okay so first off haku haku aki to yu jidai what do you think that means? So it's some period because it's like jidai yep. in it. And it's basically um, we're defining hakuaki as a jidai. So in other words, you can think of it as the name. The name of this era is hakuaki or the hakuaki jidai. We're just defining this word as jidai. Hakuaki jidai. Um, the Hakuaki Jidai, I think in English it's like the terrestrial period or something like that. Um, we're just talking about which Jidai wow. we're talking about. Uh, so next, Hachu Hachurui means reptile. Hachurui. Oh, reptile. Um, so this right here says is basically we're kind of defining what the Putteradan was. So, putadon, first of all, is an ikimono. What is an ikimono? ikimono. You know? Living mono, living yes, thing. Exactly. Putadon is a living thing. Um, wh When did we know, when were they alive? In the Hakuaki period. Exactly. Perfect. Um, What kind of creature is a putteradon it is a nakama de oh that's not the right word is it, it, it is. uh that oh. it, this all um defines what the putteradon is we basically have two different um definitions mm. nakama de comrade yes <laughs> that's the only thing i can think of so oh. nakama does mean comrade. Specifically, nakama is identifying an in-group versus an out-group. Um, as a random example, everybody in the L, um, G, P, T, Q, A, plus, those are all nakama with each other because they are an in-group to separate an out-group. So uh, it, it definitely doesn't mean friend or anything like that. It just is a way of grouping things together. So old women, for example, are all nakama when we're talking about something in that aspect. So basically, yokoryu is some mm. kind of bigger category in this case. So we have basically dinosaurs hey. that can fly is what yokoryu basically means. So within that category, we have all these different creatures. They're all nakama. So by saying this, this is basically a more, I would say almost a little childish way of saying that a putradong is a member of the Yokoryu family. Basically, an animal, you know, species family is what that is. So in English, we species. use the word family. We use, we use the species yeah. family, we use that word. So in Japan, they're using the word nakama to illustrate that same little in-group, out-group thing. Um, and then when we're defining what a Yokoryu is, a yokoryu are hachuruis, which are reptiles, that um, motta tsubasa. Do you know what that means? Motta tsubasa. I've heard tsubasa many times. Yeah. Tsubasa. Is that lips or fingers? That's a good Probably guess. lips. Um, kuchibiru is um, lips, and fingers are yubi. Tsubasa is something that yokoryu have, but most kyoryu don't have. Our oh, wings. Hi, tsubasa are wings. So motta means to have in this context. So the reptiles Hi. that have um wings, yokuryu, uh the family of yokuryu. 
Yeah, that's that's all this is saying. Uh, de aru is not aru like normal aru. De aru just looks like aru. There, there's no real relationship. De aru and da. De aru. De aru and da are basically the same thing. Um, the difference is de aru is like book Japanese and da is like spoken Japanese. That that's the basic like main difference between those. They're both um copulas. So if someone was talking out loud to their friend, they would say this exact same thing, but end with da. There's no da. difference in meaning. So putudon wa ikimono da. That's why putudon is a living creature, or putudon is um a living creature. No, no difference. This just sounds more like author like writing like so in japanese if you ever have to write an essay you're not allowed to write essays in da that's, that's not allowed but you have to write in short form sense. so instead you use dearu so dearu is essay japanese Makes sense. ah what's this word second half should be kind of easy first half might be a little hard hmm it Ah, we've seen it before. We I know have. it's some dragon. Yeah. Something dragon. Um it's not it's... Kyoryu. It is Kyoryu. Kaiju. Oh, nope, Kyoryu. Right. It is it is Kyoryu. Oh. Kyoryu. So that Kyo is the same Kyo that shows up in Kyofu. Kyofu. Which means fear. Kyofu. Kyofu. So scary dragons are dinosaurs. Kyoryu. Okay. Ooh, what's this one? Should be pretty easy, I think. I don't know if we've seen it before yet. Ah, uh, I don't think I've seen that. Though the kanjis are familiar. Very familiar. This kanji means like front. Um, and it's a little confusing for me, like with time wise. But this is my. My. Oh, my. So when we use my to mean time, we're talking about the past. So if I said in front of 10 years, like 10 years in front of that, um, that means 10 years ago. So I take 10 years and you go all the way over here to make the front. Um, you can think about this is because in Japanese, we start over here normally in reading and we go this way. So the beginning of reading is this way. So when you have a timeline, <laughs> You have to go this way to go to the front of it versus this way, which I feel like is the American would be over there. So, reading. so yeah. in time with my, it means ago or back some amount of time. It means backwards. Ago. Yeah. So, okay. What does this say? Hmm. <laughs> The same word ni. That was my height. Yes. My ni. Nice. My ni. Uh, zetsumetsu shita. Nice. You want know zetsumetsu shita? Zetsumetsu shita. Zetsumetsu. Zetsu, metsu. What do you know what happened to the dinosaurs a long time ago? They extinct, blown yep. up. Yep. Zetsu metsu means to go extinct. Exactly. Yep. That is what that means. So they went extinct. Yaku rokusen go yaku um, manen mai. Oh, that's a number. I was like, why is that so long? Yep. So we have Ryoku, then we have Go Hyaku, then we have Man. Yeah, I think, I don't know. I don't know where my dots go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. And that's how many years ago it was. So I can't convert it like on top of my head, but I can write it. Because <laughs> uh, Man is 10,000. So one, two, Need another zero there. And there's the five hundred. I might be missing Oops. a set of zero, but it, it's it's it has sixty five in it. Like um, so that's how long ago, yaku. You know what yaku means? Yaka. 
Yaku. Mm, yaku. It means about. Yaku sounds familiar. Might be familiar. About. about. So about 65 million years ago or something. Who knows? Um, They were the thing. So specifically, it said Kyoryu to Tomoni. So Tomomi, to, Tomoni means along with. So something has been dropped from the sentence. Do you kind of have any idea what might have been dropped? Had to do with our previous sentence. Which I will show you our mm. previous sentence. What is our subject of the previous sentence? Our topic. Yes, put it on. Or even possibly yokuryu, depending on how you want to say it. So put it on and yokuryu. They kyoryu to tomoni. So along with dinosaurs is what that's saying. Along with to tomoni. So along with dinosaurs, they were um went and seeked about um sixty-five million years ago. Something years ago. Yep. Sixty five something My. years ago. We know very long time. Lots of zeros. Um this word right here, I tend to have trouble with. This is not Hiraku. It's not Hiraku. Do you know what it is? It's not Hiraku. It's not it Hiraku. is Kiku. It is Kiku. Nice. What does Kiku mean? Kiku means to listen. Yep. Nice. Where'd that butt come from? To listen. To listen. Nice. So you might remember this, but quotation to and te are the same thing. The difference is that te tends to show up when people are talking and to tends to be more what our narrator used. So Annie will go, um, konnichiwa to itta. So Annie says konnichiwa versus mo konnichiwa te itta wa yo, which means, ah, I already said hello, didn't I? So that's the said part. It's, well, the quoting of what's said. Okay, so we have two things here. Which, which, which one is this one? Is that Kiku or Hiraku? That is Hiraku. Nice. Okay. Um, what does this say? That is Zetsumetsu. Zetsumetsu de. Zetsumetsu de. To ani ga. Uh, nice, yep. So this right here is Zetsumetsu de Ita, this ne, and it's basically like Kimiga. So, um, this is basically she's, ask, she's asking for a definition here. Zetsumetsu de. So it's like I'm told you. Do you, do you know what I told you how to you means? Um, can you define this? You find a right. as b. That's what this is doing right here. That's basically to you being just te to be basically like, can you define the tsumetsu? So what do you think Annie asked? Tsumetsu te to Annie ga kieta. So Annie mm. asked. Yep. Annie asked Zetsumetsu te. Yes. That's what she said. Yep. That is exactly what she says. Zetsumetsu means this the uh, destruction word. She goes, What what is Zetsumetsu? She's saying, What do you mean by that? She doesn't know this word yet. Um, do you know <laughs> this word? We saw this earlier, but not like hmm. you haven't had to test yourself on it yet. Inaka. Yep. I'm guessing that's mono. That's a good guess, but it's not mono. It starts with a... It's just nakama. Nakama. Nakama, oh. Which is the comrade, the in-group word. Nakama. Okay. Verbs. So, naru means to become. So, for example, kyoryu ni naru. What does that mean, do you think? 
uh, to become a dinosaur. Exactly. Or shizuka ni naru. What does that mean? To become quiet. Exactly. And when we have e adjectives, this verb here used to be takai, but now it's takaku naru. What does that mean? Kaku naru. Um, don't think it would be to become tall since it it's ku. It is oh. to become tall. So what's going on right here is a special conjugation. So for nouns and not adjectives, not adjectives are almost always conjugated the same way as nouns. That's like an interesting Japanese tidbit. If you had to guess how to conjugate a not adjective, conjugate it like a noun, not like an adjective. <laughs> is basically how it hmm. goes. So because of that, both of these take ni. To become quiet, to become a dinosaur. However, for e, anything that ends with an e sound, not even e adjectives, um, negative verbs as well end with e. So anything that ends with an e, like takai, tall, is going to turn into a ku. Right. Takaku naru. Become tall. So how would you say to become non-existent? So to exist is iru or aru. So how would you say to become non-existent? It would be uh, arunai ni naru. That is a oh, really wait good a minute. guess. However, oh no, they changed it. So aru turns into nai when it's in negative form. And then nai, what sound does it end with? So it would be not nai, but naku. Yep. Naku naru would become. To become non existent. So you might say, ah, okane ga nakunaru. Ah, I no longer, well, probably say, okane ga nakunatte shimatta would be what you'd say. I no longer have any money. My money has become non existent. And if you wanted to talk about an animal, you would say, inakunatte Like, um, kyoryu ga inakunatte iru. So they are becoming instinct. So, any kind of negative form of a verb is going to become kunaru. Um, normal verbs, as far as I can tell, you can't have a positive verb ni naru for some reason. Like I couldn't figure out any way to do like iru ni naru to become existent. So don't know what that's about. Um, okay. Um, so all these kanji have a very similar thing. Um, so this right here is naka. What's the next part? Naka. Naka ma. Yep, this is ma. And what's this one down here? Da is kiku. Nice. And do you know this one? Hiraku. Nice, hiraku. So yeah, all of these guys um have the gate kanji, but they have different things inside the gate. Kiku is the easiest and makes the most sense because we have ear inside of it. That is mimi, ear. Hiraku is kind of weird because we have a tori gate inside of it for some reason. But I guess the idea is like, you know, you're, you're welcome to come visit the gods, I guess. And ma, <laughs> for some unknown reason, has sun inside of it. Um, This kanji right here, this ma, also shows up in like aida, for example. Aida. So in Japanese, space and time are extremely linked, more so than they are in um, English. So aida tends to kind of refer to like a period of time in an almost like space kind of way. For example, jikan. Right there. That is time block, basically. I like to give like aida as like a block of time. So, time block yeah so same with you this is like block of comradeness Insights. of sameness of insideness mm. which makes sense this is the in group right in group so it's right. a block of inness <laughs> so that's kind of where that comes from uh no idea what the sun has anything to do with it you're, you're happy when you're blocked inside <laughs> the, <laughs> the sun the sun is being blocked out i don't know <laughs> Okay, uh, so here is Jack defining what detsumetsu means. Hi, um, sakyo, 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 chikyu, chikyu, jo, kachi, ah, no, chira, kara, yeah, yo, kara, 
その仲間、仲間が一頭もいなくなってしまうことだよ。ことだよ。はい、nice. So, this koto right here isn't like adding extra meaning to this. So, there's kind of like, I would almost say like a set phrase in Japanese. It's, um, to, uh, sorry, to iu no wa, mara mara mara, um, koto da. So, a to, uh, I'll do like, c to iu no wa, um, b to koto da. So, this is a way to, um, Define things in Japanese in a full sentence. So C is B, is what that is. So Annie said this part, which was Zitsumetsute, is what she said. So she's saying, What can you define C for me? So he ends with this part, B koto da, which is Chikyu jo kara sono nakama ga ito mo inako natte shimao. And then Koto just saying that is what it is, kind of. It's, 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 yeah. In, in this case, That's you can just think about it. That, that, that is what it is. <laughs> um, okay. So, as far as grammar goes, it's pretty easy. Ito might be a little hard. Um, you might be able to guess what it is. We got ichi, which means what? Ichi means one. Yep. So, ichi. Ito means one large animal. Oh, one large、um, animal. This to right here is a counter. Ito. So that's why it says, um, um, I'm going to delete that for now. So that way we can do it as small as possible. Um, sono nakama ga inaku natte shimau. What does that mean? その中か、so, uh, inside of or that group, in group,、yeah. いなくなってしまう。いなく。So, いなくなってしまう。So, it's a part of that in group. しまう。Mm. Uh, so, しまう。We haven't seen this in a little bit. しまう kind of tends to have a little bit of an emotional thing. Conveyed with it. Do you think shimao is a good thing or a bad thing normally? Sounds like a bad thing. It is a bad thing.、Um, that's why in Japanese, sometimes people will curse by saying shimatta because、um, it's kind of bad. Specifically, it means、um, completely done. We do the same thing in English sometimes when we say, oh, I've done it now. As you can see, we didn't actually、mm. say any bad words in there. But we know that when I said I've done it now, I'm insinuating something bad has happened. So、um, almost always, Shimao is always going to have some kind of negative connotation, but it does like, mean、um, to complete something, like completely. So, like, tabete shimatta means I completely ate that, but I probably shouldn't have. So, probably it, it have. probably shouldn't have. So, you, you have to do something. Oh, I've done it. But it, it's, it's also, you know, negative. Um, so, um, the thing, so, in this case, what has completely happened is that all the nakama, all of that nakama, so all of those in that in group have inakunated. So, it's basically to have completely inakunated. So, what does iru mean? Iru is to be. Uh, yes, to be. To exist.、Um, to to be. exist. So, inaku、uh, comes from inai, which means to not exist and natte, as in to become. So, all, so that, so of that in group, all of them have ceased existing. That is what zetsumetsu means. So, then they modify this to ito mo inaku natte, which means not even one of them. Have continued to exist. So this mo basically means not even one. Mo. Mo. Ito mo. Not even one.、Um, so, what location are we talking about? Chikyu jo. Chikyu jo. So, 
地球上、地球。うん。地球上。地球上。うん。You know what 地球 means? あ、uh, I do not. 地球 ?T right here means earth. And this right here means ball. So 地球 is ground ball. Ground earth ball. Means planet earth. Planet Earth. Cute. Um, and then Joel right here means like on. So on planet Earth. So it's just saying on planet Earth. Yep. So it's saying to completely go non existent on planet Earth is to detimetu. So detimetu means. When not even a single one of your kind exists on Earth anymore. Okay.、Extinct. Yep. To go instinct. Nice.、Um, what's this word? Oh, no.、Uh, which one? Uh, uh, that is. Shoryu. Nice. And one more. What's this guy? That is the word for. Oh, it's a weird one.、Mm. It's right here means front, but in our contents, it meant ago.、Uh, my. Yeah, my. Perfect.、Um, okay, and then also, what's this one? That is Zukan. Nice. And this guy? This one you struggled with a bit.、Uh, oh, that one. That is it.、Eh. Nice. Yep. Nice.、Um, and this is where we're going to pause.、Um, I'm going to change the color so I can find it easily. Okay.、Um, I think next time we meet. We might, um, so right over here is where the book ends, I mean, the chapter ends. So、mm. we have we have some more. So I don't know if it's next time or the time after that.、Um, when we finish、um, this chapter, I was thinking about rereading this chapter, but being like, haha, look how much kanji you now know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And like really try hammering in those kanji that you've forgotten, perhaps. So some of these pages, like this one right here, you're like, oh, everywhere.、Uh, but you might start being like, oh, look, there's G again, which、um, Chi G, both possible readings,、uh, which means Earth. So Earth's surface, G men.、Uh, but yeah, there, there's, there's quite a few of these pages that have like, No footing on it at all. So、uh, I think we're making pretty good progress on that. Yeah, that's that's the really cool thing about、um, this book is that a lot of the vocabulary is very、um, like N5, N4 level, like as far as like normal vocabulary goes. Like there's very rare, like rare words. Like Kyoryu is kind of rare, but I made you learn it because it shows up so much in this book. And、um, Maboroshi is rare, so I was like, not teaching you that. <laughs> It's kind of、yep. the thought process. Like, right here is Maboroshi.、Um, only very popular in if you watch like Pokemon and stuff.、Uh, mysterious Phantom. But yeah,、um, any questions before we go?、Um, any questions? Oh, yeah, I, was, I forgot to ask you.、Uh, I think the four lessons is over and I have to pay you. I can't remember if it was for this lesson or the previous lesson. I don't know. It's been so long that I looked at this and I was like, it looks like next lesson is actually your last lesson, unless I forgot to record a lesson. Because this lesson 19 should be these two. So this should be lesson 19, and then it's that one. So that, that's what I have according to this. Uh, if I like lost an episode, it's so good. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs>、yeah. it, looks, it looks like next time. 
uh, according to this. But yeah, I, I try. Um, I, I'll check. I can double as check as well. To... Yeah. So yeah, that's right, it that. then. Bye. See you next week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.